Well, Gary, 350 Hartlepool United appearances mm. uh, by the time this comes out. It's almost a little bit fitting as well that we're here in Bristol once again at the same hotel after we lifted the playoff final trophy, a huge moment in your career, but 350, just describe to me how, how that must feel. Yeah, amazing. Um, obviously coming to the club as a, as a young 19, 20 year old, um, obviously to, to come up to the, to the 350 mark is, is, is great, you know, on a, on a personal level, you know, proud moment for me, proud moment for my family. Um, and no, you know, like I said, to, to, for it to, to happen here again in Bristol, um, you know, great memories here, obviously, from, from that season. Um, and no, it's, uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a fitting way to, for it to come around, that's for sure. You've obviously played under plenty of different managers, but fitting as well that you're going to make your 350th Hartlepool United appearance mm. under your former teammate, you know, Graham Lake as well. Yeah, um, obviously, Spike was... Uh, he wasn't here for too long when 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 he when he was here with 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 myself. He, he came on loan at the time, um, as as a League One club, which we were at the time with with Danny Wilson. Um, I think he played two or three games. You know, looking back, I think you know there was there was two of those games where me, Nels, Spike, and and Sweens were all on the same team together. So um, no, it was uh, unfortunate that he obviously went back injured at the time. I think it was and. Um, no, like I said, for it to come around in full circle and for him to be my current manager, it's, uh, you know, it, it's strange how things happen. 350 Hartlepool United appearances or 700 senior career appearances now, and you know, a lot, do, do lots of people are starting to ask you that question. You know, what's next for Gary Little? Because so many fans that sit and watch almost, you must get it all the time. Almost say, you know, Benjamin Button, like you feel like you're getting better with age. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm just enjoying playing at the moment. You know, I feel fit, I feel healthy. Um, you know, I'm lucky in that. Every every club I've been at, um, including this one, um, I've played, and um, you know that, that's that's come around with with the, the pushing on to, to 700 appearances now. So uh, no, as long as it happens, and, and as long as um, you know I, I do feel fit, and um, like I said, I've had a couple of uh, niggles, you know, last season, first part of last season, and was out for a month this season. But other than, other than that, it's it, it's been plain sailing really throughout my career, touch wood. So. Um, no, I, I'm re I'm really pleased with that, and and like I said, it's uh, hopefully with with um, with the end of this season, you know, I, I can I can play for another couple of seasons at least. And um, I always say to my family, you know, as long as I feel I'm making a contribution, um, then then I'm happy to play on. And, and um, you know, I'd like to think I've I've, I've you know um, helped the team in 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 certain areas that, um, over the last couple of years I've been here. A couple more season. <clears throat> That's exactly what Hartlepool fans would like to hear. Uh, we are here though uh, to do a little bit of a teammates conversation. Mm. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, and it's all about your teammates from your whole Hartlepool United career over the two spells. Right. So you know, get get your brain racking. Think think about every. There's a few players. In there. There's a few players. Every player you've ever thought of. Um, so this is teammates. Go if you can just look down the camera for me yeah. and say roll the titles. Roll the titles. Gary, teammates, Hartlepool United edition over your two spells as you hit your 350th uh, Hartlepool uh, appearance. Players, player. Um, it's got to be Richie Humphries. Um, obviously, club legend, um, all time appearance maker. Um, you know, obviously, still someone I still keep in touch with, someone who, who made me feel welcome from the very first day I was here. Um, and, and just an all-round good player, top guy, um, and, and deserve everything he, he got with his football club. Richie Humphrey's obviously a huge club legend, <clears throat> but a little bit like yourself, played in so many, several positions in the team as well. Yeah, he was he was jack of all trades really, obviously he made his mark with, with Chef Wed as, as a striker, but um, come the, the promotion season in, in that 2007-8 season, he, he, was, he was our main stay at left back, so um, no, he, what you got with, with Humphrey was it was a 7 out of 10 every week, and um, you know, he made a career on that and, and you know, he done well with it. Uh, next question on the list, and every time I've filmed this video with a Hartlepool uh, player, they've always given you as the answer to this next question. <laughs> I don't know why I ever say that, just because just I do my hair every, every, every day of that, but um, Mr. Vane, um, I don't know, uh, Mr. Vane, I'm trying to think of someone who, who it was well. It was you know. He was always well groomed after yeah. the game, even coming straight out well groomed as well. Um, I'll probably give it. I'll I'll give it to Humps again. Really? Just because he he always made an effort with with his gear and 
Um, he liked to make himself present a little bit presentable. Um, you know, wasn't wasn't too uh, too clever with his choices at time, and then he got a bit of stick for it. But um, no, he he always presented himself really well. He looked after himself. Yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah. yeah. Tinks, Mark Tinkler. He was always a, um, you know, he was a good laugh on a night out. Tinks um, on on the few nights out we had with him, and, and a couple of holidays here and there. Um, what type of shapes he throwing out? Not very, not very good ones, but he made an effort, um, especially with a few drinks in him. So uh, now I'll give that one to Tinks. What's the um, Gary Little go to after a few drinks on the on the dance floor? I'm um, just, just a two step or mm, at, at best. Um, <laughs> yeah. At best, uh, yeah. I'm not really a not really a dancer or a mover, that's for sure. Give a couple of people for this one. I'll give James Brown, who who's you know if I was to name. A, um, a best eleven hour I would ever I've ever played with at this football club. Brownie would Brownie would certainly oh, be in it. And, um, unbelievable talent. Um, you know, shame he, his career was cut short with with knee injuries at the time. You see a lot of Hartlepool fans talk about James Brown, saying you know you know what could have been. Yeah, it's been. a shame. You know, the younger obviously the younger generation won't won't know much of Brownie, but um, as he, you know, he'd probably be the same age as, as what I am now. Maybe he's a year younger, but. Um, unbelievable talent. Um, shame he, he got injured and. A few step overs in his locker, didn't he? Yeah, he just always had that just yard of yard of pace and you know a, a jink here and there and he 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 got he's got a lot of goals for us in that in that promotion season and, and done well in, in League One as well before his career was cut short and um, another another trick I'd give it to Maid. You know, you know, God rest his soul. He was a good trainer, a, a good lad, and um, no, he, he 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 had a few skills in his locker as well. Mm. Was he one of them on the training ground where you think that if I'm going one on one against him here, that he's he's going to? Yeah, Maids was he was a, he was a good player, Maids. He uh, yeah, he's exactly that. You know, he's one of those of you always wanted in your team in, in, in the five sides. Um, Whether it's good music or bad music. Yeah, I do remember Humps having a lot of say in the music, but that's just it because he he obviously plays he plays guitar himself and sees himself as a, as a bit of a. A bit of a um, a bit of a, a singer. Um, did um, did Nobby ever get the trumpet house? Nobby, uh, yeah, I went around his house, Nobby, one time, and he, he got the trumpet out for us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, uh, he took us out for a night out in Newcastle, and um, felt like I was on night out with a celebrity at the time. But um, back, back to his house for a, for a bit of the trumpet. Yeah, we went to his house first, and they got the trumpet out for us. Yeah, oh, and, then, and then took us out for a night out in Newcastle. So um, no, no, yeah, Nobby, Nobby's a good lad. Nobby, um, obviously the trumpet and. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I just remember in the, uh, Neil Byrne, in the uh, promotion season, <laughs> Humps had a, a, a big say in the uh, in, in the DJ. We seemed to have the exact because we were winning. We were on a, a winning streak of about thirty-five games, thirty-four games at the time, and uh, we didn't want to change anything through superstition. So maybe that's the only reason he got that at the time. DJ at the moment still Ben Killip? Yeah, Ben's the uh, probably the only one with with music on his on his phone at the moment. But yeah, uh, how's his chance? He, he's all right. He has a bit of a mix. Um, you know, it wasn't. Quite sure of the uh, the um, the case of song after the uh, after the last FA Cup victory, <laughs> but um, no, it's uh, yeah he, he can keep it at the moment. Agreed. Yeah, well, back in my younger days, I obviously played a bit further forward in, in midfield, and uh, I love playing with with Willie Boland, who who a lot of the uh, the the middle age fans will, and all the fans will know. Um, you know, great player. Um, you know, great to play great to play with. Um, so him, I'd, I'd give him that one. I'd, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd put probably put Sam Collins in there as well, who, who came from Hull um, when we were in, in League One at the time. Danny Wilson signed and um, good lad. Um, you know, proper old school defender and um, wasn't afraid to put his, his his head where it hurt. And you know, a few cuts and bruises who have probably got scars from at the moment. Probably sure that. You talk about them lads and lads you've played with over your career. Now you've obviously moved into a centre back. Do you mm. take obviously? You know, stuff you've taken from them off training it and you adapt it to your own game. Obviously, because obviously it's a position that you've only obviously picked over the last few years as well. Yeah, I think I, I think I, I probably have done. Yeah, you know, obviously playing with these players, you know, the likes of um, Nelson and and, um, and and Sam and, and Ben Clark. You know, you know, good good you know good players who, who've played at this at this level for a long long time. So. No, it's, it's you know it's good that I've got Nels obviously as a coach now to, to to talk me through stuff here and there and the, you know obviously the manager as well. Um, so no, I'm not short of uh, of advice when I need it. You talking about Nelson, uh, the gaffer giving you giving you help and advice, uh, you know, in, in your role as the as the central centre back. You know, how much more advice can Gary Little at 35 and just, you know 350 <laughs> yeah. pounds? How much more advice can Gary Little take on? No, it's, it's one of those you know it's an old cliche, but you can you know you never you never too old to learn and. Um, 
you know, I, I train hard and, you know, I'm always willing to, to, to improve and to listen, you know, no matter, even if it's just, you know, from someone a lot younger than me, it's, um, you know, they've got a point to make, you know, I'm, I'm always willing to listen and, um, you know, I'd like to think vice versa as well. Monks, I'd, you know, I'd give that one down to Monks, you know, good lad, you know, I got along really well with Monks, um, but, you know, he could, he could, you know, have a go at you for the for the slightest thing, you know, yeah. and probably put Fence in there as well. Fence is, <laughs> yeah. you know, as you probably know, he's Fence, and you know, there are a lot of lads in in the squad. The, in the squad today, we we'll probably put Fence in this one, but um, no, good, good, good lads. You know, the, the type who you need in in your squad and in your team, um, you know, to to get that extra extra couple of percent out of certain people, and um, no, they they certainly need it. But as soon as you step off the pitch. Different characters. Yeah, the, the, you know, the, 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 you know, that, like, like I said, I, I, you know, I'm good friends with both of them, and uh, you know, that at the time, in, in like with now with Feds, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I get along with him great, and you know, we speak to each other a lot off the pitch, and um, but no, on it, he's, he's certainly one who, who, who would certainly give it, give me an earful if, if I need it. Uh, Daryl Clark, from when I was, you know, here the first time, you know, Trigger was. Uh, it was really funny, you know. I went, went on a couple of old days with with Trig. You know, there was a group of us with uh, with Holmes, with with Tinks, um, Daryl, uh, Sweens, Nels. You know, I was lucky enough to, as a young twenty year old, to be invited on those, and which you know at the time um, was was really privileged to do. You know, you know, probably didn't mean much to them to invite me along, but um, you know, I, I went went on those type of old days for for, for three or four years running, and um, no, Trigger was always the, the soul of the party in those old days, and. Um, you know, memories that'll that'll stay with me. In the group now, plus club. Now, um, I've had a few calls over the, over the calls, and I've had a few Josh McDonalds as well. Yeah, the, 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 whether the class, I just don't think they've got many brains, many brain cells <laughs> more than anything. But um, yeah, if I was to say that now, I'd probably I'd travel in with Josh every day, and uh, yeah, he's certainly he, he, he's certainly a character. Yeah. Um, me personally, anyone. <laughs> but um, no, I, I'm trying to think. David Foley. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Falls. Falls was uh, Falls was was lightning. You know, it's a little small, yeah. small, small guy. And uh, no, he he was quick. Falls. Um, you know, I remember scored. He scored a great goal to put us through in the in the league cup. I think yeah, all the FA might be league cup. Against Stoke. Against Stoke to to win it for us two one. Um, no, re really sharp falls. Yeah. I suppose that comes up with my second question. I feel like you, you might have answered already, uh, Mr. Slow Coach. Mr. Slow Coach. He's gone now, Burner, but um, <laughs> it's a shame. Uh, slow Coach. Just, just while he's mentioned Burner, you, mm. Burner, 100 yard race, who's winning? Oh, me. Yeah. Oh, really? Every day? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, we, we obviously wear the, uh, the stats thing, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not slow. I, yeah, I never said you were, Gary. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm quick, and you know, most of my running is you know, half a yard in my head as well, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, so slow. I'd, I'll put Mickey. I'd, I was gonna say Mickey Barron there. I probably will put Baz in there, um, and I'll say Nels as well because he'd probably say me. So I'll I'll, I'll say Nels here. Yeah. Uh, just going back a second, it depends on a hundred meter race. Just on on the contrast of the faster players in our current squad. Mm. If there was a hundred meter race between all of our current squad, who who's winning for you? Um, I know I know Mol's fancies himself. Moles is, yeah. Moles, I'm thinking you've got Moles, Sturry, um, Tyler Bury obviously was here, he was quick. Um, yeah, Tyler, Tyler was, if he, if he was still here, Tyler would give it a good go, but I, I think you you know the name you said, that Sturry's, uh, you know, Sturry, Sturry's really quick. Um, Joe Gray, there's a few of them. Joe, yeah, Joe, Joe, yeah, Joe would probably edge it, I think, yeah. They think Joe Gray? Yeah, Joe Gray, yeah. I don't think we've had any, any, Major, major culprits have been late. Um, you know, ma mainly because we've always been quite tight on fines whenever I've been at this football club. Not that I'm in charge of them, but um, no, I'm sorry, I can't. And no one just run. I feel like we always see David Ferguson just running right. Fergie, no, Ferg, no, Fergie's never late. Seems late because he always just gets on the bus on time, doesn't he? But, he does, yeah. Um, no, he must just have his timing down. Nah, we're, we're nailing that one. Future manager, a lot of people who have done this episode uh, with me always see yourself as a future manager. Mm. And obviously, I'll, I'll get down to the question in a second, but is that something you see yourself obviously doing in the future? Um, potentially, you know, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't say no. You know, it's not something I'm, I'm looking at, obviously, in the immediate future. Um, 
you know, not while I feel really comfortable in playing. But um, no, if obviously if if, a, if an opportunity was was to come up down the line, wherever that may be, then uh, no, it, it's certainly something I, I'd, I'd look into. Um, whether it be it's a coach or or a manager, um, you know, it's something I'd obviously have to have to really have a, have a good think about. But um, no, all avenues open at the moment. Good for you in, the, in all the time you played at Hartlepool United. Who, who did you always look at and think there'll be a future manager? I thought, Are you someone around now? I thought um, Mickey Barron would, and he, he he did obviously with 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 with, uh, with taking over here for for a spell, and then he, he went to Blythe with with Nelson, helped out there. Um, but I know he, he took up a role in, in teaching, so you know that's that's the avenue he went he went down at the time. But um, you know, and I always thought Humswood, you know, with with his with his connections in the game and his his experience and his. You know his status within within the football in within the football world, if you like. But um, no, he's obviously gone onto onto a different avenue as well with with the PFA. James Brown was always took it took his time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> and finding James Brown we watch this thing. Gary yeah. to be dead again. <laughs> um, I'd give Willie another shout out. Willie just because he, you know he'd never have an off day. Willie he'd, he'd come in and, and he'd, he'd, he'd kick hell for leather out of you just to, just to win a fo- win a football game. So I'll give Willie a shout out and um, try to think of someone who was who I always felt was was really good. Nobby Nobby was, was he, yeah? top train. Obviously coming from Newcastle at the time, um, you know you, you expect him to to have the, that Premier League class and quality. And um, don't think he played many games for us really. Nobby before he, he ended up getting getting left out and, and leaving, but. Um, no, he, uh, good lad, and it obviously he always showed up in training. Um, I think he, last time I heard from Nobby, he rang me Nobby and offered me offered me a role in uh, to play for a team in Peru, um, <laughs> yeah. just randomly a couple of years ago. But um, no, I'd, I'd just put Nobby in it. I'd, I'd put Willie for for two very different reasons. Yeah. Gary, that is teammates, Hartlepool United edition. Three hundred and fifty appearances for yourself, and it just fine is you just look back on them three hundred and fifty appearances. What's the Overall emotion and um, pride. Obviously, hopefully there'll be many more to come. Um, and just more importantly, mm. as well, you're now going to the top ten list of all joint appearances of all time. Yes, yeah, so obviously something I'm, you know, immensely proud of. Um, you know, I kept in touch with that with that list for for a good while, and you know, see myself creeping up uh, game by game, and um, for this 350 to to obviously be the one that that you know puts me in there or puts me joint um, tenth or, or whatever it does. Um, you know, great, great for me, great for my family, and um, like I said, hopefully there'll, there'll be many more to come on top of that, and, and I can I can keep creeping up that list. Gary, thank you very much. Thank you.